Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can control your smartphone's flash or flashlight, whichever you want to call it. It's a light on your phone that is used as a flash, but you can also make a flashlight. And an MIT app inventor, actually, if you just go through your selections that you have, it's not built into it, but you can still control it with MIT App Inventor 2. Super easy to do. And what you do is uh, look in the description below. You'll find this little extension file you got to download. And it's safe. Um, it comes from, a, it's saved on Google Drive. So it's been scanned for viruses and stuff. What you do is after you've downloaded it, you come down here to extensions, click on extensions. Now you can see I've already down, downloaded it and installed it. What you do is you'll just click on this import and then you'll just direct it to where you have the file saved. Um, just when you download it, save it somewhere, you'll, you'll be able to find it. Now once you get that extension, then what you do is you just click on it and you drag it in. And then also we're going to need a tiny DB and we'll get uh, to that, why we need that here in a couple minutes. And then we need a button. Now, I just have one button, and how it works is when you push it, the light turns on, and then it says off. So if you push it again, then it'll say on. And that's what we're using a tiny DB for, is to store the value so it knows which to say. Now, you could set this up with an on and an off, or depending on what kind of app you're building, maybe you're building a video camera app, and you want to be able to turn, just have the light automatically turn on, when you start recording that can be done i'm just going to show you here today the basics on how to get it to work but um yeah that's all we need then i just set my background to a uh, black color and i centered everything um once again you go ahead and set it up however you want it the main thing is then we go over to the blocks and how i set this up is when the button is clicked it calls the the tiny db and uh, we just used state as the tag. And the, when it first initializes, there's not going to be a value. So it's just going to say off. And if um, the button is clicked and uh, it reads it's off, it uh, sets the button text to off. So the next time we push it, it will actually turn the light off. Then we're calling the flashlight. And you'll find that right here. You got an on and an off. And then you've got, um, this scans the device to see if it has it, has a light or not. And then uh, what we're doing is we're putting a value in the tiny DB, which tells it that it is turned on. So when it goes through the rest of this, um, it's the L, we got the else if statement next. So if the light is on, what it'll do is it will turn the light off, set the button to say on, and done. That's how easy this is. It's just a matter of getting the, the extension because it's not directly built into MIT App Inventor, but the, the extension can be gotten. It works perfectly fine with this. Otherwise, an alternative is you could go to Thunkable or some of the other clones of this, and that extension, they actually built that into it. It's already included. So that's another way you can do it. But uh, yeah, that's how it works. Uh, super easy to do. Uh, if you have any problems, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But with that, I think we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Um, that's all there is to this. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you have a great day. And remember, have fun building apps.